In this episode, some amazing hacks that actually work. So did you know that tampons are not only used for periods, they actually can be turned into a candle. First, pour some oil into a bowl, wrap the string around the tampon, and that is going to be your wick. Just submerge the tampon in the oil, let it absorb, so then you just light the string. I don't know how long this will burn for, but my guess, it's gonna be for a long time. You can also make candles out of crayons. Just put it on a surface and then light it up. It'll take a little bit longer to light, but be patient, it will light up. And just like that, you have a candle. The flame is pretty big, so I don't know why or when you'd want to do this, but it looks kind of cool and a bit like a science project, and I kind of want to blow it out now because it looks like it's going to explode. So, happy birthday! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now I've shown you many different ways to open bottles, okay? This is a very unique way, very unconventional, so I thought I'd show you just how to do it. All you need is a can tab. Grab your scissors, thread it through the can tab like that. Make sure that it catches on the lid of the bottle, and then you just lift up. Just like that, you have your beer. Mm. <sighs> that is a warm beer. Which beggars can't be choosers, uh huh? <laughs> Another great way to peel an orange is to actually use a fork. First thing is to just roll your orange on a flat surface like this. Then, with the fork, poke a little hole in the side like this and just cut all around the side of the orange. Use the handle of the fork and separate the skin and the flesh and go around the orange just like that. Once you've done that, you just give it a twist. So that's all there is to it. A really great way to peel an orange if you don't want to use your fingers or if you don't have a knife. Usually when you've got a dirty sink, you'll find that you get these bits here and then you have to use your hand. So now I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY hose for your faucet. First thing you need is a balloon. Just cut the end of your balloon. So then place your balloon on your faucet like that. So now you just use the balloon like a hose and just wash down all the dirt from your sink into the drain. Very, very simple and it saves you from buying a hose for your faucet. Boom. Did you know that you could make a compass out of a needle, a bowl of water and a leaf? First thing you need to do is magnetize your needle. You want to make sure you stroke the needle with the magnet in one direction, okay? So you can't go back and forth like this, otherwise it's just not going to work. And now I just place my leaf inside a bowl of water, place my needle on the leaf like this. So wherever the sharp end points, that will be north. So I'm going to turn it around with my finger and see if it still moves. Yes, it does. Look at that. So as you can see, they're both pointing north in that direction. Pretty fascinating, huh? Um, I don't know how useful this would be, but hey, you never know. <laughs> Now if you're stuck with a bunch of razor heads and you can't find the handle anywhere or the stores don't have them anymore, I'm going to teach you a way to make a makeshift handle. First thing you need is a plastic fork. Cut the two outer prongs of the fork. So next, just thread the fork in the little hole at the end there. With a glue gun, glue it down onto the razor. So now all your extra razor heads won't go to waste. Pretty nifty, huh? Best part is it's nice and bendy, so it can move along your body shape, which is fantastic. This one's for all of you people out there that are in winterland or wearing gloves, basically. So I'm wearing a regular pair of gloves. So as you can see, it doesn't work if I push any of these apps. So if you have an old favorite pair of gloves, I'm gonna teach you just how to make it touchscreen gloves if that's what they're called. What you need is some metallic string. Cut a little bit off, grab a needle, and just sew a little patch on the tip of your glove. So now I've got my little touch screen tip ready to go, and then I'm gonna go into my Facebook. How good is that? So now by doing this, your fingers can stay warm and you don't have to keep taking off your glove to use your phone. <laughs> Done deal. 
And we've come to the end of yet another episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise and we've got some stuff up on sale. So go check it out at tandemmerch.com. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you like this show, subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can download the free Click Number app to watch most of the videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah! Ding!